For the people who means it's an indictment that he's not, bro, I'm sorry to tell you, I will still sit here and argue you till you die that Drake lyrical records are better. I will still sit here and argue, but. Have. How can you say that when you, you're not even, I, I bet you act don't even, he's, he's not confident of which songs Drake actually wrote. He's wishing. He's hoping. Man, I hope Drake wrote this. I hope Drake wrote that. He, he, I'm, I'm sure he has a lot of doubt in some of his favorite songs that he like about Drake. He's hoping that Drake wrote it. <laughs> Do I, have I acknowledged that some of these popular trendy songs have been created by or been helped or collaborated with other people? Yeah. My only thing with this record is I wanted this to be him. 100%. This one record, I wanted, like, my, like, I'll tell you some other records that I'm like, nigga, this just, this needs to be you because every three or four years, niggas try to cancel Drake. And he always comes, like, he hits back with the craziest shit, right? Let's go to views, right? Oh, well, well, well this is almost like a timestamp record, so I guess this one count. Because uh, I was about to pull up, uh, what do you call it again? I was about to pull up, I was going to pull up Her Loss. Not Her Loss, I mean, um, some this record, More Life. But I think, uh, Do Not Disturb. But, like, Do Not Disturb is like a, Timestamp record. Let me pick out some records that I'm like, even though they're not lyrical, right? And by the way, to this day, we haven't heard no lyrical records of Drake being leaked. But I'm gonna be honest. Okay, here we go. I'll tell you. First of all, hold on, we're going home. One of Drake's biggest records. We don't. I, I think everybody that, that's magic. All right, we're not gonna use Tuscan leather. That's lyrical. Let's just see records that we're like, oh my god, if this ain't him, let's go to uh, take care. Not a lyrical record, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I would cry tears if he ain't right. Look what you've done. I would cry tears, like tears, like just ball. I would ball. <laughs> Look what you've done is to me is such a personal record, right? And I think that's what we have to. Look what you've done to me. Oh, yeah, uh, this was a song that he made, like, I think this was to his mom, right? Write this. <laughs> yeah, okay. I remember this song, yeah. What if, what if he didn't write this? <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious. So, let me guess, Drake sat down with a ghostwriter and he just ex ex expressed himself and said, hey, man, put that in the song. Yeah, man, I really love my mom. I really, you know, I grew up this way, you know, can you know, damn, bro. Like, like, what if Drake has like a room, like a ghostwriter room where he just sit there and just tells his stories to the uh, rapper or the or whoever is going to put it in the rapper. He just sit there and talks and then the person just jot down everything that he wrote. And then he goes back and, you know, puts it puts it into a song. That would be insane, huh? Mm -mm -mm. Jesus, holy! To unlike me, I I, I know y'all here for, for me to either glaze, have a glaze -a thon, or just throw him under the bus. I still think he's a phenomenal lyricist. I th I still think he's a writer for himself and others. But I've, I've also believed people have helped him write. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh no, he's just done it as an island. I would like to think, and that's that's where my disappointment comes to mom ties. That certain records, though, you can know, like bro, who cares if. The motto, like, it's the motto. Who gives a fuck, right? But doing it wrong? Oh, well, these R&B records, kind of. So maybe I should chill with these. But look what you've done. There's a lot of rapping on that. Look what you've Drake. done. Drake! Drake! <laughs> the Dark so King super shattered $2. He struggled with a Kini freestyle TF on. Let's see. Appreciate that $2 donation. Tell about this one. Link up TV behind bars. This appreciate you with the two. Are you talking about this one? Shout out Gigs for setting the ting SM1 OVO. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look, you know how the pagan chit chat goes. I like R's and V's and O's. I don't really play no tic tac toe. Been with chubs through highs and lows. We man, man, I don't trust nothing about this nigga. Man. Headlines, I'd be hurt. Um, I don't trust nothing about this. Let me nigga. see. I don't trust. I'm nothing. gonna say Marvin's room because that's like R and B, right? Let's go to the next album. Nothing was the same. Let's see. 
Where's the track list to this? Tic tac toe, nigga, get three in a row, nigga. Tuscan leather, that's rap. Uh, no, nah, of course I'd be hurt. Like that's a different level though. Like if Drake can write Tuscan leather, like, <laughs> nigga, I'd be in tears. <laughs> uh, let me see what else. Uh, what record over here? I'm like, it's not lyrical, but it's. I feel like it's him. Cause I've I've gotten into the story of Drake, right? Like it was like watching a movie, right? Let's go to views. What's on views? Yeah, I think it's just mostly the lyrical records, right? Like because Western Road flows. Like if you're right, Western Road flows. Like y'all got it, bro. Now if you're right, controller. I like, don't give a fuck. I'm sorry. I don't care if you don't write controller. I don't care if you didn't write one dance. I don't care if you didn't write pop style. Which I think didn't somebody else help write it? Whatever. Fire and desire. Like I look at this R&B shit differently. And Hotline Bling, of course, nigga. The drum shit. Fuck that nigga. No, no disrespect, drum. <laughs> What? I think Montage is probably the first like um, reference track I've ever heard. I'm like, ah, oh. it was like a good punch. I'm like, ah, oh. I thought that was my man's. Let me see Certified Lover Boy. Let me see. I think Poppy's Home. Yeah, if, if, if you ever at Poppy's Home and Champagne Poetry, I'll be a little bit hurt. I'll be a little hurt. Let me see what other song. Obviously, 7 a.m. on Bridal Path. Obviously, knife talk too. Yeah. I hey, the fact that you got to sit here and debate about what you think he wrote, you don't think that's a problem in itself that now, now even you second guessing. See, I don't think Act even realized what, how the damage has been done, whether he wants to accept it or not. Now you got one of his biggest fans hoping, man, I hope you wrote this. Please do tell me you wrote this. Please, like he just, he, he don't even understand. He don't even understand what's going on in real time. He's going, th he going through all of Drake's album saying, oh man, I hope you wrote this one. Please, Drake, I hope you wrote this. Damn, if you wrote this, man, I, I, I couldn't live with myself. I couldn't live with myself. <laughs> this is, this, this is crazy that he's this emotionally tied to it. Look, I'm just going to give my opinion. I'm going to make my live stream. I'm going to make my reaction. I'm going to cut the computer off and I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be okay. This, this, this is just for conversation. I'm not about to lose sleep over this. I'm not about to cry. This is just for conversation. You know, small talk and keep it moving. I ain't losing sleep. This nigga said that he lost two days of sleep and that he cried. It's not that serious. <laughs> Jesus. Definitely not the knife talk. I don't know, man. It, it, it's like, it's putting me in an interesting and weird position. Who cares about honesty in our mind? And then for all the dogs, most of these are like R&B songs, so. Apparently this Call For You record was, was done by, uh, what's that name named Cash Cobain? So this is a Cash Cobain reference that's supposedly out there. I, I think it's actually, can we play it? Calling for you. Let me see. Cash Cobain calling. Yeah. This is. Who's leaking these tracks though? I just met a baddie. She only 21. I don't see a savage. She only 21. She know that I come static. So she wanna hold a gun. If you want it, you can have it. Just make sure it's what you want. Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, but, but that's RB. Fear of Heights, he better have wrote that. All that dissing he was doing to um doing to Rihanna, he better wrote that. By the way, you know what's so interesting about the mom ties thing too? Here, this is the interesting part, right? Check this out. Say it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say it. Uh, silly niggas. Silly niggas. Higher shooter. Higher shooter. Really niggas. Uh, and I'm on the rich. Uh, I turn on the bitch. I turn on the bitch. Yeah. Yeah. You know what it is, sir? Yeah. Black push, cause I let him move fast. Yeah. Watch your homie if he move on his ass. In a rocket and a bitch ain't got no tags. Louis bags in the shape of body bags. Okay, that line right there, right? Um, I remember being in a penthouse in, in um, Manhattan with XXXTentacion's mom. This is after 2018. And she was so hurt. She, she was just like, yo, this motherfucker keeps dissing my son. And shout out to Cleo, by the way. And I remember saying, and I'm a huge Drake fan, but I couldn't say nothing. I'm like, fuck. I'm like, yo, why would he say? It, it was two, two lines. It was this, and it was like, yo, SMS triple X. That's why, that's why uh, I only aim below the uh, like the neck, something like that. And then this was like, fuck. I'm like, yo, why is Drake taunting X, bro? Louis bag, because it was a whole thing that X got robbed for the 50,000. I was in a Louis bag. And so it's like, yo, Louis bag has changed her body bags, right? Like, you know, and I think in the I'm Upset track, right? I'm Upset lyrics, it felt like he was taunting him again. This is 2018 after X died, right? Like, he comes with, he comes with, um, 
It says SMS triple X, SMS. Yeah, he says SMS triple X. That's the only time I ever shoot below the neck. Why you keep on shooting if you know that nigga dead? That's the only shit that gets you some respect, right? And I remember saying, like, I remember like listening to Cleo, and she was hurt, bro. And and obviously, like, I'm a huge fan of Drake, but but, but I felt I was like, damn, man, why is Drake even doing that lame shit, right? I ain't gonna lie. At least today I feel a little bit better. That wasn't Drake. <laughs> that wasn't Drake. That was boring. <laughs> Now, now he's shit, man. All right, um. So, so at first he was concerned about Drake. Now, now he's happy that he didn't write the lyrics. So, are you kidding me? He, he told that whole story to say, "Well, now I'm I'm happy Drake didn't write it because I was wondering why he wrote. You know, why he was taking shots at a, at a person that's no longer here. Bro, this nigga needs some help, and I'm taking a break. I can't. Uh, yeah, I need a break." I need a break. I need a break. <laughs> so, so, so now he's happy. So now he's happy that Drake didn't write the song because XXX mother was not liking that Drake was always taking shots at his her son. Come to find out, he didn't even write his bars. He didn't even write the song. So now Drake is like, okay. Now, now, Ak is like, oh, okay, good, okay. Drake really didn't feel that way. Now you're happy. Now you're happy that Drake don't write his 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 song. Uh, yeah, it's time for a break, man. I'll be back, man. I'll be back, man. Yeah, y'all subscribe to the channel if you, man. Act, get some help, bro. All right, get some get get stop it. Get some help. Jesus, this this dude is un unbelievable. Oh my! Stop it! Get some help! Get some help, Act, please! Stop it! Get some help!